everybody, Sibling Power here, and today I am back with some more mod sauce, mod survival. I have to get used to saying that. Alright, so, today we are going to be doing a little bit of a few things. A little bit of a few things, that's a word. Alright, so, over here, what I want to do is I want to make a thing. So as you can see, I have a ton of white stained clay now. And what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to take four of it here. I'm going to put that there, I'm going to put that there. I'm going to put that there, that there, and that there. Alright, so this is called, this item right here is called the tea maker. And we should get our buckets back. And what this thing does, apparently, is it makes tea. Alright, so, I don't quite know how to make the tea maker, but we do definitely need cups. So, what we're going to do is we're going to make cups. Apparently, this is how you make cups. Cups, how do you make you? How do make you? All right, so I have two empty teacups now, and apparently we can do something with teacups. Now I have water cups. What is water cups? Oh, wait. I just put down both water cups. Um. Okay, apparently I can drink it for nothing at all. All right, so. Uh, apparently what we can do now is we can take the tea leaves that we've been collecting uh, if we go over here and I grab a tea leaf and it says apparently we can cook it alright let's go ahead and we're gonna cook it in a furnace oh, get over here tea leaf alright we're gonna cook you in this furnace and then that should become tea leaves well ground tea leaves apparently so yeah that's how you grind tea leaves all right so we're gonna grind them yeah, now they're ground tea leaves now we can make tea leaves now we can use it now we have a tea maker all right and if I scoop this and I scoop it again I now have tea and so apparently what this tea does is this tea is actually instant health like it will give me instant health and we can also place it down so yeah this is essentially uh, instant health potions so yeah I can go ahead I can now use these as instant health potions but something else I want to do as you can see I got myself quite a bit of lava in here so what I'm gonna do is I wanna scoop the bucket of lava that I have in there out and I might as well scoop a second out uh, once it finish, okay, I'll let that finish up. Okay, so we're gonna let that scoop out. I've put a bunch of fuel in this. Now what I want to do is I want to upgrade this thing, but I'll need to clear some grass out because uh, this will light on fire, and I can't have it burning. So there we are. I think that's far enough out now that we can go ahead and use that. All right, so. If I go ahead and I allow that to finish up and I'll get a second bucket. Uh, and Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and break it. And now, we're, uh, now we have a crucible again. Now I want to break this torch. Then I want to move just over to here. And I want to pour this lava in the ground. Then I want to put this crucible on that lava. And now we should have double melting speed. So now if I go ahead and put a bunch of cobble in there. It should melt at two per seconds, two per second instead of one per second. Meaning, I can now double. I've doubled my uh, melting speed. I'm gonna destroy the seeds. All right. So yeah, that's good. That's good. Now I have double melting speed. I'm gonna pour that in there. We have plenty of fuel now, and I have really fast pickup of that fuel. So yeah, I think that's pretty good. Now what I want to do is I want to go over here. Alright, so any botania flowers, I want to move to my bar, and I want to replant those, because I'll be using them later, uh, and the rest of you can go away, boop, boop, and boop, boop, alright, so, now that I've gone ahead and done that, I want to go ahead and, well, I gotta dig a hole, uh, so I think I think I'm gonna dig this and then I will get back to you guys. Alright everyone, I am back and 
pretty much I dug down to the bottom of the world. I had to make an iron pickaxe to get through some of the ores. But pretty much I dug all the way down to this lowest point down. I dug a spiral staircase pattern because, I don't know, it helps me find ores better. <laughs> And down we go, down we go. I went down to level 7. Um, I think I'm going to also start uh, mine shaft at level 10. Or no, level 9 here. Okay, so I think I'm going to dig one mine shaft over here at level 9. And then one down here at level 7. Alright, so pretty much... Uh, what I made this hammer for, I made this hammer originally for this purpose, is because this hammer is really good at mining. If you've never seen a, uh, if you've never seen a, uh, use of this hammer, well, I'm gonna show you. So, pretty much, I, and actually, you must have seen it, because I was showing you guys how the hammer breaks blocks, but pretty much, this is how it breaks blocks, and this is really good for finding ore. It can only break things that can be broke by a stone pickaxe. Uh, meaning that I am limited by that. This is tungsten. I can't even mine that yet. Uh, that requires a redstone level pickaxe. So that requires my iron pickaxe uh, to get this test light. Uh, I don't know what this is, but I'll mine it. Uh, there's some redstone over here. This is good. Some gold. A lot of good stuff right here. Alright, so... And get this stuff. Um, I'm gonna replace this. Uh, we can get the silver. Uh, well, we don't need this silver, but I'll mine it just because it's in my way. Um, there's some osmium. I don't know what that could be used for, but we'll break it. Uh, more more redstone. That's good. Yeah. So uh, th yeah, this hammer can help us find a lot of ores really quick. Uh, using uh, its ability to break uh, in its 3x3. Three three. Ah! Alright, so we're gonna put a, a torch right there. Let's put a torch right there, actually. Okay, so, and I think we should continue. Alright, so. Yeah, so what I'm gonna be doing is whenever I need to mine in between episodes or, uh, or otherwise, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use, uh, get around this. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, go down here and I'll pretty much just use this hammer to break stuff. And we're going to get a lot of ores really fast. Nice iron breaking. Um, but yeah. So it's it's a pretty powerful tool. And I hope you guys can see now why, I, why it costs so much <laughs> uh, iron. Because it seriously it did cost, what was that, 8, 16, 24... 27. It costs 27 iron or three blocks to create. So, yeah, hopefully you guys can see why that is now. Uh, so yeah, I'm not gonna mind. I can't even mind that. That's freaking tough stuff. Um, yeah, we're gonna get a lot of ores down here. We should be. We should anyway, because uh, this thing is really powerful. Okay, we're gonna keep breaking through here. Uh, what's over here exactly? Okay, so what's this? More redstone. This is good. We get redstone. A ton of redstone. Redstone's easy to find, so uh, we should be able to use all of the various inventions. And to get some. La Ooh, lapis. Is that lapis? Yes, that's lapis. Okay. Uh, that could be used. Uh, fossils. Okay, I guess. Uh, amethyst. Gonna take that. That seems good. That seems good. Give me that. All right. So what's over here? Uh, is there more stuff over here? Yes, there is. Okay. So there's gold, and there is cinnabar. All right. So cinnabar. Let's break the gold. Uh, let's uh, let's see about this. Okay. So how big is this iron over here? Uh, it's a decent size. Let's go ahead and get this. Um, alright, so I think I'm gonna call that, yeah, alright, yeah, alright, so I think I'm gonna call this mining trip as a success, because, I mean, we've gotten quite a bit of material so far, 
quite a lot. Um, yeah, let's go break, break this. Uh, I'm going to get a ton of cobblestone while down here, so I probably don't even need to worry about keeping some anymore. Okay, so pretty much I think we've gotten everything. I'll hit F7. I'll go. I want to mark this. Uh, I'm going to mark this as... This is my level 7 mine, so let me go ahead and mark this waypoint as level 7 mine. Alright, save. Alright, so level 7, I, I, the reason I went level 7 and level 10 is, level 7 is where you find most ores, but level 10 is where diamond is the most common. So, pretty much, uh, it allows me to do kind of both things. Alright, so pretty much let's go ahead. I want to dump two one stack of cobblestone and let's get all this other useless stuff out of my inventory. I got a fossil. That's interesting. I don't think that's an ore though, so I'll put that in there as well as the stuff that is not ore. We'll go in there. Um, anything else? Uh, no, I think everything else is ore. So let me go ahead and uh, put all that in there. And nope, that's not ore. Alright, so pretty much now I have all ores in there. Uh, anything that can be smelted down in a nine. Yeah, okay, so pretty much now that I've started this, I'm going to run into problems of this thing doesn't have enough storage space. So I might need to go ahead and start making more seared bricks and upgrading the size of that smeltery. Um, but that is not, that. but that day is not this day. I know, it took me a minute to register to say that line, but you know what, it's a thing. Alright, so, pretty much I think the next thing I want to do is establish a sugarcane farm, and wow, why are all the squids dying? And wait, what are those? Fish. Um, uh, ink sack. Fish, okay. So... I didn't know that. Okay, so apparently fish are a mob. So I can go ahead. Well, fish are a mob, at least in this pack. So I can go ahead. Does T restore anything at all? Or is it just. I think it's just an instant health potion. Okay, that's fine. Because that means I can get some uh, instant health. And. Oh, okay. Hmm, sadness. Well, the rain would be good if I could actually, you know, fish. But I don't need to fish. I can just kind of get the fish. <laughs> So, yeah, let's go ahead, um, I don't have any damage taken, so I don't, I don't need to drink my tea. When will I get to drink my tea? Probably when I'm taking damage. Um, okay, so, what I want to do is I want to get a sugarcane farm going. So, to do that, I need to get a decent amount of sand. And probably establish a sugarcane farm spot. So, I think over here, uh, over near the water itself, but not in the water. Okay, so I think it'll be small rows, but I think it'll be two rows long. So essentially what we want to do is we want to get water, um, fill two buckets, and... Alright, so there we are, and... Why did I take from there? Alright, so we're going to put that there, that there, that there. Okay, so pretty much here and now I want to go ahead and find sand find some sand away from my house this way I can dig it and not feel weird because I have a freaking weird shaped sand area I want to have weird shapes sand. all right so over here's some sand that I can dig so this is all mud should probably avoid that um over here, I'm going to dig this sand, and I dig the sand up, and I think once I get all this sand, I can go ahead and plant the sugar cane. I want to plant the sugar cane on sand, I just like it, I like the look of sand, I know it's not actually faster like some people think, but I like the look of sugar cane on sand, so that's where I'm going to put what I'm going to do. Don't tell me how to live my life. Alright, so... I think that's enough sand. Let's go back to home. Uh, let's make a new shovel because it broke. Uh, 
two sticks. I don't have a lot of sticks. Let's break this stuff. I don't need that. Uh, and new shovel. Why am I lagging all of a sudden? Freaking stop lagging game. Lag game, game! What are you freaking out about? Alright, so. I think the game's freaking out. Ow. Oh. What the heck is happening? There's some intense lag going on here, people. I don't know if you can see this. But, uh, yeah. Oh, ah! Freaking lag. What is happening? I'm not on a multiplayer server, so I don't understand what's happening. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead, uh, and stop the recording until we can go ahead and, uh, fix this lag, and then I'll be right back. Alright, hopefully we fixed the lag. I don't know what that was. Literally, like, it freaked out. It was, it, like, it dropped to, like, two frames per second. Flipping out here. I don't know what's going on. Alright, so. Now that we've gotten the aesthetics looking good, let's go ahead and plant our sugar cane. Alright, so, let go. I have nine sugar cane. I want to put in all. So, let me go ahead. I'll just grab to 64. Here, it shouldn't be more than that. And then we can go ahead and we can plant the aesthetic. Oh, looking good. I'm going to put sand on all sides here. Might look better. Yeah, that's going to look good. Right, so, I know we can't actually plant sugar cane there, but it'll look good. So, then we're going to go ahead and plant sugar cane in there, and there, and there, and there, and there, and there. there. Alright, so. I think we done and uh we done good. All right. So, our, our sugarcane farm is looking pretty good. Uh I can take this sand. I'll just put it in my uh in my uh earth blocks, I guess. Uh and I'll put the sugarcane in the farming chest. All right. So, now that we've established a use for sugarcane, uh, let's go ahead and put our things on our bar here. All right. So, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I don't need this fish. I don't want it. I don't want that ink sack either. Get no stupid ink sack. Get in the thing. All right. So now that we've gone ahead and we've uh, kind of dealt with that, let's go ahead and see about this. Uh, that's good. How much do we got in there? We have 18. All right. So let's go. Ahead. We're gonna break that out. Let's get a casting basin. And we're gonna start removing things there. Uh, let's put the ingot cast away. I don't need to work with that right now. I'll keep, actually, I'll keep those in me or on me, in me. How do I store that? <laughs> uh, so, uh, yeah, I'm definitely gonna run out of steak at some point. But um, hmm, what is this over here? Okay, our strawberries are almost done. Well. Just in case we need this. Uh, alrighty. Alright, so. Now that we've kind of gotten everything set up. Um, okay, what time are we? Okay, yeah. I think I'm going to go ahead and end off the video here, guys. So, yeah, like and subscribe if you want to see more videos. And I guess I'll see everyone in the next video. Uh, goodbye, everyone.